Hi everyone, welcome back to our player development sessions here. Today we're looking at dribbling drills with six cones. Only the six cones, just so we can make it easy for players to use on their own or at home, or when you give them ideas during your start and training or in warm-ups, beginning your technical elements of your drills. Now what we're doing today is practicing some different drills through six cones. It can be different movements with the ball, different touches, different skills, but it's just different variations of using those cones to help the player get some different situations on the ball and movements and touches. Now what we want to do is we want to just focus on using those cones initially. If we use the cones initially, then eventually the technical element of the skill will become stronger, better, allowing them then to go into the 1v1s, 2v2s and the opposed type practices with a bit more confidence. But using the cones is really helpful, especially for individual development, for players who want to go and play on their own, practice on their own, or for just some activities at the start of a session to get players thinking of their dribbling and their touches on Now we're here with the figure of eight. We've got the three cones here, just giving you the opportunity to make a figure of eight along the floor around those cones. This here is a bit of dribbling because we're looking at going a bit quickly through the cones, but as we go up to the top cones, it's a tight turn. Use the outside of your boots so we can really focus on bending the knees, having a sharp turn around that cone. With this, we can quite easily progress with some different skills, different turns. Have a look at the ones we have here, see which ones you can use for your sessions or for your player, and what you can also adapt as well. next this one here the second of the six drills we're going to just look at changing direction a little bit more be a little bit sharper at getting the ball out of the feet and having a change of pace Developing the change of pace is very important in a game of football. If you look at the best players, they will have that ability, even if they're not the quickest, to get on the ball and quickly go from slow just to a quick little burst of pace. It might give them two or three yards away from the defender, maybe even a yard in some cases. But that ability to go from slow to fast is really important. So what we're going to try and look at is a little bit more of a change of pace after close control here.
get small touches, burst of pace and we have the bigger space there. Cone dribbling drills there. Just making sure that we get as many touches on the ball as possible. The main outcome should be of that is that the ball's closer to the player's feet. They're able to change direction whenever needed and to whatever cone they have to go to. They're able to use quick changes of pace with a little bit of skill such as the step over while maintaining balance and coordination. The main aim really is to make sure the player has the ball under control with smaller touches and bigger touches with the ability to shift their body weight, have the balance and coordination to go to the right or to the left with ease. Quite often when we're coaching players, we see players who are really comfortable with their strong foot in going to their strong side. So they may be for me, my right foot, taking it across to my right foot. But then when they get to their left foot, they're struggling a little bit and end up going back to the right again, which ends up making the player predictable and easy for the opponent to mark and defend against. Try and keep practicing drills like this in little warm-ups when the player's playing on their own when they're practicing in the garden or down the local park. The more touches in the ball they get, the better they'll become. Allowing them to get more confident and then develop that balance and coordination to shift the ball to the right and shift it to the left. It's really important to be able to be a balanced player, having that ability to change direction and go either side of your opponent whenever. These drills here lead up into the opposed practices, into the 1v1s, 2v2s. We're not saying we should use these instead of 1v1, 1v2s, but 2v2s. They are probably most important, but we've got to try and hone and practice and improve the technical elements first of all. So using the cones, using these little drills will help players get warmed up, they'll help them get their touches on the ball and feel more comfortable when they have it at their feet. So the more of these we can do, the better, but always try and develop players who are comfortable on the ball, going to the right and to the left, making sure they are confident when they're coming up against their opponent and when they're taking them on. The more of these we can do, more be the better the player will become overall. Thanks for watching guys, I hope that's helped. Please like and subscribe. If you hit the subscribe button next to it, there's a little alarm box. Click the alarm, you get notified of all our latest YouTube videos. Thanks again, we'll see you soon.